Two of my all-time favorite lessons on leadership come from Stephen Covey about prioritization and from Craig Rochelle about our thought life. And so I thought it would be fun to kind of smash those things together because they've influenced me so much. So Stephen Covey, prioritization, biggest rocks in the jar first. This is your life. You can't fit more than the top here because that's just how life works. You can only be as full as full. This is little stuff. Little stuff in your life that you have to do like text messages and emails and push notifications from social media. Stuff like that that you gotta take care of. All right, so person one starts with the little stuff, which makes sense. Then you wanna get the life-defining things in here. So they start with their home, because home matters, obviously. Uh, then their career, let's dump that in there. Uh, social presence, sure. Um, mind, because they're a reader, they love to learn. Hobbies. Uh, like crocheting or something, something like that. Uh, fun and rest, like a white tiger sweater. Uh, community involvement, that uh, looks good for my house. And then body and health. I think we, we got that in there. Um, soul and spirit, that's not gonna fit. So, uh, what did we sacrifice? Family, soul, and spirit. I'm not willing to sacrifice that stuff, neither are you. So the principle is get the biggest things in first and then let the little stuff fill around it. Uh, this is just an example, but make it your own. We're gonna see how this second person pans out. I'll tell you right now, spoiler, it works. So you get the biggest rock in first. So let's say it is your family. Then you've got your career and work, sure. Your body and your health, sure. Wait, that's not the next biggest rock. <laughs> Social presence. Mind. Some hobbies, yep. Your home, I don't think your home is less important than your hobbies, but uh, your body and your health, sure. Soul and spirit, I'm not gonna sacrifice my soul to inherit the whole world. Fun and rest, yep. Community involvement, giving back, serving people. Now, the little stuff. Text messages, emails, uh, writing thank you cards, how about? And I'm nervous, but it worked, yes! Okay, it's a full and awesome life because you got all the stuff in your jar. You actually have room for, for more. Let's make it real for the next 90 days. This is your next 90 days. Person one has a little bit less than person two, uh, but person one uh, is feeling good because they're gonna follow the principles, get the rocks in the jar first. Person two um, is excited and is like full send. Three rocks, let's go. And this is the little stuff. Okay, let's shake this around because that's looking a little dangerous. It's in there, awesome. Here's the Craig Rochelle twist, your thought life. These are positive thoughts, these are negative thoughts. And we're gonna start with the second person, then go to the first, first person. So second person, positive thoughts. They're surrounding themselves with thoughts that are great, they've got coaches, they've got mentors, they've got people in their life that love them, that are encouraging them, that are putting courage into them. And like Craig Rochelle says, your life moves in the direction of your strongest thoughts. So if you don't have a mentor, if you don't have somebody pouring into you, you need to. And you know what happens is you get another rock from a <laughs> white tiger sweatshirt. No, this is another thing that you could fit in there and Boom goes the dynamite. It all fits in there because you were encouraged to keep pushing by the people that saw more potential in you than you knew you had. Person one. They don't surround themselves with positive people. They got negative people. And as you'll notice, it's about a third of the positive thoughts because what I've found is that negative thoughts seem to have more weight and hurtful stuff seems to have a bigger effect in smaller doses than larger doses of the positive stuff. So real life, negative thoughts, negative interactions and you have a mess and what you have here is just bubbles everywhere and when it subsides you actually had the same opportunity as person two did but you didn't take advantage of it because you didn't have your life moving in the trajectory of positive thoughts well i hope that that was a value to you what's the point your life moves in the direction of your strongest thoughts and a life worth living is one that's prioritized right 
So if you were encouraged by that, I would be encouraged if you would send it to someone else to show them uh, an example of what a great life can look like. And if you have other ideas for other videos you'd like to see, put them in the comments below. Uh, if you check the notes or the description, I've got links in there. The impact of leadership exists to equip, connect, and grow leaders while having fun, like a mustache and a white tiger sweatshirt. I'm rooting for you. Keep going. Yes!